Welcome back. Let's draw another circle so we can find another exact angle. This time I'm going to construct a 60 degree angle by finding points on a circle. Let's, let's uh, make the circle let's divide it in half or let's bisect it as I did before. Once I have that, I can put a dot there and label it A and a dot at the bottom where the diameter intersects the, other, the opposite end. We'll call that B. AB forms a diameter which is a straight line which is 180 degrees. It forms 180 degrees. So if we bisect it, we are in a sense, we are indeed forming a 90 degree angle because 180 divided by 2 is 90. So when you bisect this 180 degree angle, you're forming a 90 degree angle, which happens to be a perpendicular line. So by placing B on A onto B, or B onto A, doesn't matter, we are forming a perpendicular. So let's turn the paper around until we see the, uh, the shadows, the shading formed by the creases. And I think you can see that we have a center point right there. The other point that you should be able to see is that we have another point here a, B, we'll call that C, and we'll call this uh, O for the origin, okay? All right, so there we go, we got um, point A, O, C forms a right angle. So we'll draw the right angle symbol. Our next step, we need to divide or we need to find the midpoint of AO. So to do that, we bisect it again by placing point A onto point O. Place it like so, crease hard. Let's fold it again this way so you can see the crease. There we are. We found that there's a intersection there of AO and a new line formed by the crease which intersects the circle. And we'll call it A, B, C, O, A, B, C, D. C, we'll call that D. All right. All right. So, given those three points, A, O, and D, I'm going to connect with a line O and D, like that. And I'm also going to connect O and A, so you can see it clearly, like so. OA is a radius. OD is also a radius, so we can argue that those two lines, those two segments, are equal to each other. Now, we want to argue, or we want to see if AD, we're going to create AD by, by drawing a segment between A and D to form a line. <clears throat> so we want to know whether AD is equal to AO. To do that, we can reflect through A so that we place D onto O. And the line of reflection should go through A. And if those two things happen, uh, we will, um, we can argue then that AD is equal to AO. So we place it over like this. We've got D unto O, 
like so. And we can see that the reflect that the line of reflection, which is the crease, is going through that point A. And perhaps you can see it a little better. There. See, it's going through A. That would mean that AD is equal to AO, and AO and OD are equal because they are radii. Therefore, we have constructed a triangle with equal sides, an equilateral triangle. Hence, if an equilateral, if you have constructed an equilateral triangle with, then you must have angles, all of which are 60. So if that is 60, and as we argued before, the we had constructed a, a, a right angle of AOC, that's a right angle, that's 90. So 90 minus 60 gives us what? Well, if you said 30, you are correct. Because 30 and 60 add up to 90. There you have it. We've constructed two exact angles from points on a circle and by geometric logic. That's it. See you in the next tutorial.